Navigating around in the viewport is something that, in order to make efficient use of Blender, when you know how to get the viewpoints that you want, it makes your workflow a lot quicker. So the first thing is when you press and hold the middle mouse button and move it around, that will give you a rotation. When you scroll the middle mouse button, that will give you zoom in and out. So that's pressing it and scrolling it. And then to make it larger as well, you also have this widget here on the side. You click on it and drag. It gets larger and smaller. This one is a pan, the hand, to move it from left to right, up and down, all over in 3D space. You have one underneath here for the camera. You have one here for perspective and orthographic, which I will touch on when I get to the numpad. And here you can change views from right now let me press one on press x and it's in the right view you can see over here this is always tells you your view and you press it again back left front this one will take you to top and for some reason it goes to back again top back bottom and back and this one rotates it front and back okay so then if you that's these ones and if you hold shift and press the middle mouse button and move the mouse that's pan that's the same as this pressing shift and holding the middle mouse button and moving if you press control and hold the middle mouse button and move it gets larger and smaller which is the same as this again larger and smaller so now when you come to the numpad number one let me move it when you whenever you move it around it will say user orthographic because it's a user perspective user viewpoint but one will give you front view three will give you right view and seven will give you top view so we used to we used to use you can the function is still there if you press control one that will give you back one is front control one will be back three is right control three will give you left seven is top control seven will give you top um i don't really use the control much anymore because when you press one to go into front nine will give you the opposite of whatever you're on so i press the right here and press nine that goes to left I press the 7 that goes to top I press the 9 it goes to bottom okay so that's the main numbers that you use and then number 2 if you press the 2 button it rotates around rotates up if you press the 8 it rotates down press the 4 it rotates to the left press six it rotates to the right and all of these are up here so I press one to go back into front view again now let me add some more objects press shift a and add a monkey and let me get my widget up if you click here where it comes to gizmos and click, that means the move tool will always be on no matter what you select move the monkey out let me duplicate the monkey and set, take it back more shift D Y so shift D is duplicate and Y is for the Y axis to constrain it to the Y axis and then also for the cube let us give it something called an array modifier I won't explain it right now but we will go into modifiers and we want it to be, you see it's made it larger on the x-axis so come here and push select it and make it zero and make the y one 1.1 1. 1. 
that's a little gap and then make this change the count to 200 so this is front orthographic orthographic view is as if you're looking at it from straight on the five on the keyboard will give you perspective see now you can see it gets thinner as five you can see you can see the lines are vanishing perspective mode is more realistic to actually view your modeling and this will give you perspective mode this is orthographic and this is perspective if you want to just use a single object just focus on a single object you can press the slash button on the keyboard and that will just give you local perspective be aware of this because sometimes you put it in there and you can't find the rest of your model and you're wondering what's going on but it's because you have it in local that's the slash and then the period key on the keyboard if you press that it centers it around whatever it is you're you're using the zero on the keyboard on the numpad is camera perspective that's something that I neglected to tell you uh -huh. and, then, and there you go zero and remember all of the few things that I spoke about just now they're here viewpoint here and with the shortcuts but you don't need to use numpad you can just use nine to get the opposite so seven for top and you can press nine and these are what I spoke about as well I didn't touch on these yet and that's how you navigate around in free port, 3d viewport it would be good for you to mess around with that and get to grips with that thank you for watching